YouTube, how the heck you doing? I am doing great. I got a special unboxing for you today, and it's probably not that special since there's probably uh, at least a dozen or more out there already. But I'm going to unbox the iPhone 10 today. Uh, I was debating whether to get it a while back in one of my vlogs, and I did decide to go ahead and get it. But uh, I'm going to do that right now. And before I do that and start the unboxing, there's just one more thing that I'd like to do. Bring out a special guest on this 10th anniversary unboxing of the iPhone 10, Mr. Steve Jobs himself. He's not going to help me too much actually, so I'm going to have to do all the work. But let's go ahead and do this unboxing. Excuse me a second there, Steve. Now I'm going to start with this guy here. Not too many uh, YouTube channels show this part, but it's quite interesting how they actually ship the phone in the box here. It's uh, no peanuts that you got to take out of there or anything. It's just kind of pressurized in there, held with some saran wrap. You just flip these guys up out of there, and there you have the phone already out of the package. Simple, disposable, recyclable. But uh, there we have the new iPhone 10. It uh, doesn't require too much cutting anymore. Actually, that did. I cut it before. But uh, now they have the little pull tab here. You just slide it out of its cover. And there you have uh, the box. It's the, uh, the silver. I went with the silver color on this one. What do you think, Steve? Pretty good? It's kind of like the uh, original one he has there. Except it's the white face that he's showing there. And uh, I didn't usually go with the silver or any of the lighter ones. I usually went space gray or black because I like the front cover. But now that they have the black front screen on the silver back or white back as it really looks, I went with that one. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. As normal you see the little pamphlets or paperwork that they have. You got your stickers on the back side there, your Apple stickers. They could have went with a different color. I mean, 10th uh, anniversary, guys. Come on. Different color sticker there. I know they did some for some of the nanos and stuff, but we'll see. And then you have a little pamphlet in the front, kind of introduce you to the iPhone 10, get you uh, familiarized with that. You got the phone in there. I'm just going to set him off to the side there for a second. You got your typical 5 watt, I believe, crappy old uh, AC adapter. They could have bumped it up to a 12 or something like that. I think it's a 5 watt. Uh, they could have made it a 12 at least. Then they have your standard AirPods, EarPods with the lightning connector and then the adapter for the uh, regular 3.5 jack. And then underneath that is your typical USB to lightning adapter. So that is not pretty much any different than the previous ones. But then let's get to this guy. So just like on the box itself, they have the peel off here. You don't have to worry about cutting anything off here. Nice new phone. There we have it on that. It's got the silver back. I really like the silver. It's more of a whitish silver, but it's... Uh, I like the contrast between the black front and the uh, silver or white silver back. And just to show you a difference between that and my other one, that's the iPhone 8 7 next to it. You can see it's not quite different in size like I showed you with uh, the case that I had for it. And I'm probably deciding which case I want to go with it still. I'm liking the, uh, the feel of it and the heft of it and I'm going to get this set up momentarily and don't know if I'll do an additional YouTube video on that but uh, there's a lot of those out there too but uh, as you can see Steve is presenting it I think he'd be proud of this one uh, they could have done some different things but they got that notch in the top there that a lot of people are complaining about I don't really mind it myself I'll just call it the Apple Bite. I'm going to phrase that right now. I'm going to coin that word, Apple Bite. Gives it a little more distinct look to it. Some people don't like it, some don't care about it, but 
I fall in the I don't care about it. it I, it's not that noticeable to me when it's all lit up and everything. I saw it on uh, the store the other day or online when you see pictures of it. It doesn't really bother me. So we'll see how when I get to start using it and everything if it's going to bother me or not. I like the, uh, the sides. It's the back to the old stainless steel. I used to get it marked up. That's one thing that concerned me about doing the uh, high polished stainless silver on the side there. Uh, the, the gray or space gray probably wouldn't show scratches and mars as much as this one. But I used to just do a light uh, stainless steel polish on that and get them right back to looking new again. Plus if I do a cover, it's going to cover these edges anyway, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. But in the meantime, I'm just going to get this guy set up. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, little presentation between me and Mr. Jobs here. It's uh, one more thing that we have to do is just set this thing up and get it running and see how it goes. In the meantime guys, I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. Please don't forget to like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.